What's up guys? Matco Michael just pulled up, so let's go take a look. See what he's got on the truck. Should have something pretty cool since he's back from Expo, so let's go see. Socks. You I know. also got women's socks so your wife can stop taking yours. Good, because this is what I need. I'm gonna get one of each. Alright. Are these pink? Those are pink. They're pink and purple. Yeah, see. So well, I'll take care of my woman. Mm -hmm. Told you there was an orange tray coming. There it is. Oh, orange man. tray. Got the magnet on both ends. Got the fully magnetic tray there. Um, it's a little different. It's kind of took after the Rebel boxes, but I think it's cool. It's completely magnet. Hmm. Got some new colored lights. I went down there just knowing you like green, so I got every green light I can find. Mm -hmm. And don't I don't care. Don't say you didn't like green because I got orange too. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. So that one, yeah. Sorry. I didn't know. So that's seven hundred fifty lumens. That's pretty nice right there. My little skinny thing. What do you think about that, Wally? It's got Bill all over right oh, there. Bill's, Bill's <laughs> sick of green now. Well, I've got orange and red. See, I thought about you when I was down there. I remember seeing something about green, so I went ahead. Those are the updated lights. The old style, the first style lights were the bottom was bad to come loose. And yeah. the switch was... Well, and they had a dial switch on it. <clears throat> right, and that dial switch is bad to go bad. Yeah, so now they're it's it's updated. We We... We're going to fix our stuff. So, also, we've looked at them, but nobody's pointed out that we got new pry bars. So, I'll go ahead and show them. I didn't them. notice them. I'll focus on them lights. Lights in the socks, right? That's what's important. <laughs> I like the socks now. Well. They sold me on the socks. They sold theirself. But, so, new, of course, the pry bar itself from here down is, is no different. This one is because it's straight, but you can get it in the angle. But they've come up with a new handle here. So it's got finger grips on the handle now so that it fits more, a little more comfortable in your hand. The other handles were great. They were a little bulky, but these fit good in your hand. Still can strike it on the end, but most important part, made in the USA now. The handle's completely made in the USA. So That's good. now it fits good in your hand. You can get it in all three colors. But so new pry bars fit great in your hand. I really like, I. I really like the way the old ones felt, but it, it's, it, it's just a little, it's something about being able to grab my fingers in there now. It just, like it gives me a little bit of control. Them little short ones, you know, about them two short ones. Yeah. I, mean, I use them all the time. Hey, that's just an advantage of it, right? Mm hmm I ain't had to pull out a flathead screwdriver since I got them. First. So, when your shoes, we got the Redback Soles now. Yeah. They say, like those, them yesterday. Yeah, they say those are a blessing to have. I haven't put none in my shoes just yet because I'm greedy. I wanted to sell them and see how they went first, right? Well, I'm going to tell you, them I didn't take them off the boots. truck. You wanted us to be the crash test. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. <laughs> I just, I didn't want to take them off the truck. See, I wanted somebody else to be able to buy them. Them red back boots is fine. I'm going to tell you, that was the best. Thought I was going to have to fight my wife over the short women's socks. That was the best thing. <laughs> she wanted them all. Well, I've been telling mine how comfortable they are, but she likes to wear the socks. Well, I gave her a pair of them and I gave her a pair of the long ones, too. And she she wants me to order her some more, so. Let me tell you like your wife better than mine, because you didn't give my wife nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how it's supposed to be. I heard that. Uh, New gloves? Yeah, we, we've got gloves. Uh, we've got several different styles. There's the heavy duty style, the pro style, and then the regular impact style, textile. Shoot. We can't wear no pro style around here, can we, Bill? Mm -hmm. So that's also us. a new light there. That light will actually charge your cell phone as well once it's charged up. It also focuses, so it'll it'll span out. So, it's, you know, you can focus it in or out. Oh, that's cool. Lines. Unless your battery charge there. Yeah, well, yeah. And then you can pull this out and it'll charge in or out. 
So cool. You can charge your cell phone with it. Wally said he needed that great big light right there. Yeah, so this is a convertible light. It's it can control off a battery or you can hook it up. So for y'all, especially in tight spaces, cords will get in your way. Um, so you can do it either way. I've got the cord put up just now, so it ain't all out of the way. But yeah, that's our convertible hood light. That thing is so big, I thought it was like one of them demo lights. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a... I didn't think it worked. Yeah, it works. I gotta show people. Hmm. So, I thought well, round and round, where am I gonna put this light that I can really show people? And it seemed like all day yesterday, everybody just hit the switch just to see if it works. So it's in the right spot, right? Yep, that's true. I need a... He got these right here, and a standard size for 38. I need that to put the Matco sockets on. Uh, I don't need a set. What are, what are they, eight pieces of each on it? Yeah, I think so. That's going to be for quarter. Uh, I'm out of the smaller ones there. Oh, now, I, mean, I do sell these. They're a little different though, but they're magnetic. <laughs> they're magnetic twist and lock. I got 16 spots on them. Uh, my three eighths one? No, let's see. About 16. How many is that? So if I got what's left in that case. 13. Hmm. Now you could buy, you could buy 14 because there's one there. You could buy two more and put them on there. All right, let's do that. I'm going to have a Matco socket and I'm going to put them on a Matco holder. Huh? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, 14 spots. We'll have to order the other two and get those. Got coastal lights. Got yeah. them. Rechargeable battery. Coastal lights are nice. I like it round beam on them, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I, I sold the stream lights already, but I had a lot of people asking for coast lights, so mm -hmm. we said, sure, why not, right? Well, I, like a lot of people don't understand that which is so bright in here, you yeah. can't already see it on the floor, but... But you can see how it's got that perfectly round circle. Yeah. Like when we're inspecting like airlines or whatever, I yeah. go from one side of that circle to the other, and then I move it over. Like, you'd be surprised I got what you're doing there. Yeah. how see, well that hits you, yeah. you know. So, another, another thing I want to show off is another tool that we got out. We got three eighths and a half inch here. So basically, turns any ratchet back on, and I'm just laying any ratchet into a torque wrench or an angle meter. So we'll open one up and we'll show it off. And, it, and it's digital, right? So this one goes from six to 115 foot pounds. So a good low to a good high, which is only three eighths. So three eighths going to 115 that, that's a lot mm -hmm. and they cheaper than a regular torque wrench right so that's always a plus yeah well and it's it's a tool that's it's digital out of the way but you just put it on a put it on your ratchet put your socket on this end torque it and the, the readings right there oh, so on my Facebook page, I actually posted a video of it working at the expo. It's got the controls here. That's really neat. And then we got the half inch side here as well. Is it as accurate as a torque wrench? Yes. Wow. Yeah. So anytime you do any kind of torquing down, it, it has to be it has to be accurate. So mm -hmm. we don't want to let nothing out that's going to you know. Next thing you know, you've torqued something that's not the right spec, but. Let me get them part numbers because somebody's going to ask and then they're going to All right, for the three eighths, that's the part number. I don't want nobody's feelings to be hurt. <laughs> and for the half inch, there's the part number. Now, the half inch goes from 15 to 270 foot pounds. Wow. <laughs> so, a good range there. Mm -hmm. I like it just because torque wrenches, especially the half inch, it seems like the, and it is, the higher they go up in the size, the longer the torque wrench gets. Yeah. 
Well, you gotta you gotta be careful because you gotta put it in a drawer and it's it's only gonna get touched every so often. And then you're going, well, is it in calibration or is it not? Did I, did I wind it down or did I not? You know, because you, you got to be careful if you leave it if you leave it spun up, your spring's not right. I, I really like these idea here. Uh, we so, know about that from yesterday, don't we, Wally? Somebody left the torque wrench. Somebody left her three quarter wow. inch torque wrench at six hundred foot pounds. Oh wow, well. yeah. Well, I didn't mean yeah. to call nobody out on that. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're just gonna figure out who it was and then drag them down the road behind the pickup. Yeah, I, uh, they won't be here next week. You'll have you'll know who the answer is. <laughs> yeah, they can't blame it on me. First time I used it. I had no no knowledge of that happening. That's it. But you know things happen, so that's it. Sure enough. Uh, I think I got one more new thing to show you. I got some more coming in. Like I said, I sold some yesterday. What are you saying, Bill needs that? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. Maybe he was showing you that that's what he needed to get, right? Oh, boy. Here we go. So, I really like this tool. You know what this tool is? I'm going to have to look at it and see. It looks like a tubing bender or something. Well, that's not it. So, what this is, is this is an any and all 5 30 seconds to 3 quarter free threader. Now, the teeth spread out, so you get it on the good part of the thread, you tighten it down, mm -hmm. so it automatically adjusts to the thread. You're not looking for a certain tap or die. Right. And you tighten it down and re-thread away. So we're doing away with all that choices, options, right? Yep. So the kit I had that you're gonna see in the video when I get it back in, it had a bigger one of these that could do like axles and stuff. So. They come out with, in the past, they come out with this uh, socket deal that you put over the axles and you backed it off. It was only for one uh, one axle or one certain thread type. This is an any and all. So we put it on there, we get the good threads, we fix it, we go on, we're not paying for another axle, we're not paying, you know, for mm -hmm. a whole... I don't know how many times we bought a tap and die set and we only used three or four pieces out of it, right? So this is going to limit that. And then also, it has one for the inner sides. So every time I've ever saw, and it's the only way I know possible, but it, I guess somebody could do it different. When, a, when you take a bolt out and it messes the threads up right at the end, yeah. inside the hole, well, that's exactly where you're going to try to tap, right? So your tap's trying to go all crooked, sideways. So the deal that's inside here, it actually goes past those threads. So it kind of goes up in it? It goes all the way to the good threads. You set it and then you back it out. So that's doing two things. We're not going sideways crooked or anything like that. We're getting to the good threads, but we're also bringing all the metal shavings out with us instead of pushing them down in a hole. So it's kind of a multifunction. So I really like that tool there. That's um, awesome. Like I said, I'll have the kit in and we'll be able to show it off and but got some new redesigned scrapers here, better handles. I Is really that those carbon, carbon? No, these ain't the carbide. The carbide's up there. These, these are a little different. This is just basically a, a striking scraper kit. I'm gonna tell you that carbide stri scrapers, them hey. jokers are fine now. Yes, sir. I mean, fine. Got some new picks. And some other things here. I guess we're doing dental work too, because you know, kind of right. dental dental tools. But hey, if Bill wants to do dental work on the side, he can do what he wants to, right? That's we what you're gonna do. The next time you have to go to the dentist, Mike will carry them in there. So hey, I want you to demo these That's things. That's right. Out. Well, we, we uh, <laughs> when we were walking around on the expo floor, we uh, one of the other distributors' wife is a nurse, and she goes, "Well, that that could be a crash cart, and this could do this, and yeah. this could do that." And I'm like, well, that gun, we need a medical line then, but. We didn't quite get there, but you know, I was hoping, right? That's it. Well, we all got some good stuff this I time. Know, we still got a lot more. Um, it just all hadn't come in yet. Plus, like I said, I sold the kit yesterday. I wanted to show you. I had some mats that I want to show you, but you know, it was new. Everybody wanted it right away. That's so. it. I got a smoke machine. Really want to show the smoke machine off. I am super proud of this smoke machine. I'm showing all the new stuff this week, Clay. I don't know what we'll do next week. We'll get something else. We'll call UPS and tell them to come on. Hurry up with it. So this is our new smoke machine. This smoke machine is guaranteed to put out more smoke. Well, let me take that back. I say guaranteed. Nobody ever told me that. Every smoke machine that we compared this to, it put out more smoke. 
this one did. It, it's small, it's lightweight. I believe they said it was the lightest one on the market. Gets the job done and all for under a thousand dollars. Wow. So every smoke machine I've ever seen has been thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars. This right here, if your shop don't have one, it, it's it's the big boy. So it, we, we just we just get Wally's bait. Get him to start blowing well, up and everything. <laughs> he puts out a lot of smoke. This one actually, uh, I run off of like baby oil and stuff too, so you ain't got to have a certain right. type. So that, I think that's cool as well. But yeah, it makes a much thicker, denser smoke. Right. And it's got an internal heater, and that's why it's able to do that. Yeah. So when they compared the smoke to two different smoke machines, it was incredible. You know, we. I'll, me being a te technician background and, and y'all and, and I know some of y'all in the video y'all dealt with a smoke machine to where you're waiting forever and ever especially if you hook it up to an e line up front and you're all the way at the back of the car you're, you're, you're trying to find that leak and then you start kind of smelling it but you're not seeing it that's not going to happen with this one you're going to see that smoke I mean, you're going to smell it as well but you're going to see that smoke it's going to be coming out at a lot faster pace and that just makes it so much better right Again, nobody likes dealing with evap leaks that I know of. If you do, you can have them. I hated them. You know, little, is it a gas cap? Is it, you know, what, what's going on here? So, I really like this. I just want to show that off. So. You can put vape juice in and it smells really good. Well, I don't know about that, Wally. <laughs> but. Wally, if you have it, it's not like strawberry. Wally just needs to buy one and try that out and let us know. Wally just has a one track. Yeah, so we got more time. We may need to open that thing up, Clay, and, and do a demonstration video right. of it and well, just show it off. What you found, Bill? Her socks. Buying Kayla some socks. Yeah. Mm, Bill's going to get on bad. the good list this weekend. I'm already on the good. I stay on the good list. That's right. <laughs> she knows who's boss. Uh -oh. Say, so she, uh, so you wear the pants in the family, but she lays them jokers out every morning, don't she? No, I got to get my own out of the closet. <laughs> what you get, Wally? A couple of pairs of socks, and Pat and Pop made up mine on a couple other items. Oh, I right. sell a lot of girl socks. So everybody, I know y'all saw Mr. John in the video, probably wondering who's this guy standing here. He has actually uh, been watching the videos. He's uh, looking at maybe doing a Mako truck, so we got him riding today. Guys, if you're interested in doing a micro truck or anything, hit me up, call me, text me. I know Clay's got my number. Uh, get on my Facebook page, holler at me. Go ahead and contact me. Let me get you some, some information on it and let me get you started. You could start your dream job you know, in just a couple of weeks. You don't know the possibilities until you try, right? Mm -hmm. So this guy hasn't made any decision yet, but he's giving it a try. He wants to see what it's about. If you want to do that, I know some of you is in different states. We can get you with a local distributor. You can do the ride along. Just contact me. Let's let's get the process started, and let, let's try to get our dream job right. Because I know we all like tools. If you want to sell them, you don't know that you can't till you try, right? So yeah. be sure and hit me up and and let let me get you the information and the paperwork to do that with. Yeah. Well, most of Michael's yep. customers probably don't give really him a hard job. time like we do, so. Well, there's some, there's some, but that's all right. I was a technician. I can, I can talk crap too, so that's all good. It's all good fun, that's right? It. That's right. Gotta have fun. All right. So Bill looked at this center punch like the one I bought not long ago, and Mike was like, "Oh no, don't buy that one. I got one better." So in my opinion, this one's better. So Bill, I want to show you this one. So this one you can adjust how how hard it strikes by adjusting it there. But what I like about this one, it's spring loaded as well but you've got more of a handle spot. So you take it, you push it, and it's automatic just like that one. As you can see, it, I've done it a couple of times. So fill that one, and I don't know, I, I just like the fact that that one's got the handle there. It's a little heavier duty, you can adjust it. Just give me the options, Bill. Oh, that's some Spanish, okay, for you, uh... Spanish people. There you go. <laughs> we accommodate everybody on here. There you go. For you English guys. Matt Cody put no English on there? Yeah, right there. What is that top line? That's Spanish or something. No, it's not. 
Oh, precision Michael. design. Look at it. That right yeah, there, yeah. Spanish. But that that's auto center punch. Economic two component hand guarded with the body made of well, I'm just keep reading and that way everybody, you know, it's like the bedtime stories. <laughs> 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 well hey, I'm just saying. It is raining, though. That's it. So what do you think about it's that? One? You like the other one better or you like that one? And it's fine. Oh. It's fine. It's kinda like which center punch, you know, as the world turns. <laughs> Which one's he gonna buy? Mm -hmm. We need some suspenseful music right here. Which one? Which one? I guess I should have asked you about that before I pulled them staples off the wall, huh? Well, I, in fact, I got a staple. Though. In fact, I think, yeah, you still got a staple hanging on the wall. Yeah, yeah that's right. Oh, so that means you're going with that one, I guess. Now, here's where we need that dramatic sound. Give me a drum roll. <laughs> Oh, so. Alright guys, we're going to cut this thing off and we'll show you what we ended up with so y'all stick around and uh, hang in there. Alright guys, y'all seen Michael had a whole bunch of stuff on the truck today so let's run over what we bought real quick and I'll show you guys and we'll get back to work. The first thing I bought was three of the short socks, the black with the pink the gray with the purple and the white with the black and then I bought me another pair of black long socks and then I bought the Laka socket tray for the 3 8 and I ordered two more of the little doohickeys for that while Bill bought that center punch as you guys seen that part number is a CP315 pretty nice set in the wild Bill green and Wally well, Bill you bought some socks too Bill and Wally bought some short socks for their significant others. So they'll be in the good side, good graces of their wives. And then Wally bought the step that's got magnets on it. Um, he has to have this so he can see over the sink to wash his hands in the bathroom. So that's what he bought that for. It's not really for tools. But. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to make it do that and I'm not laughing. Wally's over giving me an evil eye. Anyway, guys, like always, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up if you like this video and click that subscribe button. It's totally free. And that way you can see how we spend our hard-earned paychecks on everything on the tool truck each week. You guys have a great one. Catch you next time. It was funny, but it's over. Yeah, I said the daggum sink. So you can get to uh, see where the sink is so you can wash your hands. <laughs>